Did Samsung fix the colors of the new S24 series? That's the one question many people ask when Samsung published this brand new firmware version. I just got the firmware update a few hours ago by the way and I literally updated all three phones within the S24 series and immediately did all of the color tests once more. Okay, so I gotta finish what I started a few weeks ago. We posted this video here in response to many people complaining about the screen being extremely dull when compared to the previous generation of the Galaxy S series of smartphones. And since we have all of the brightness and color accuracy for the previous generations, we can lay out all of the data, the past data, and then compare them with the brand new Galaxy S24 series. And we concluded that, well, the dull colors on the S24 series is due to its software issue. So was I correct? Actually, yes, I was. And thanks to you guys, Samsung heard our voices and they made changes. Samsung also issued this press release in their newsroom, which is a rather rare thing to do for a firmware update. And they also confirmed that the color vividness quote unquote issue will be quote unquote fixed. And the way they fixed this issue is, it, it's pretty creative, I'd say. So instead of just bringing back the vivid color profile like what we had before, Samsung introduced a new slider. Within the settings menu, we still have the usual natural and also vivid color profiles, but a new slider appears when we select the vivid color profile in the advanced settings here. There are three levels of vividness to select from and I totally did not expect Samsung to do this. Many people like the new not so saturated colors, but there are also many people who like the old super vivid colors like me. Now, with the new February firmware version of ABXA, for my particular unit at least, we technically have a total of four different color profiles to choose from. It's practically the best of all the worlds now since we can tune it to however we like and it's up to your personal preference. But I'm stumped. Which of these three color vividness corresponds to the vivid color profile like what we had before? I decided to do all of the color tests for all four color profiles. And I also read it for all three phones. So that means a total of 12 color tests and that equates to about three hours of testing. Yeah, the first level of vividness is actually close to what we had before in the original firmware version of the Galaxy S24 series. The oftentimes referred to as the barely any changes to the natural color profile vividness. Then I got ahead of myself and did the test for vivid level 3 color profile. Unsurprisingly, the most vivid color profile corresponds to the vividness like what we had before in the previous generation of Samsung Galaxy flagship smartphones. And that leaves us to vivid level 2 color profile. What does it actually do then and what's the difference? Well, I can't really tell actually. I do have all of the numbers with me and I will just show you on the screen here. But the gap between the color gamut coverage percentage between both Vivid Level 2 and Level 3 is just a bit too close to each other. I think most people will just look at these two Vivid Color Profile levels and just say, hey, they are the same. And I don't blame them actually. This behavior is also consistent across the S24 series, by the way. And I'm just kind of surprised that all these three phones have such consistent color profiles. So if you like the super vivid colors like the Galaxy S23 and the previous generations, just max out the vivid slider and you will fall in love with the display once more. If you want the not so vivid color profile, then use either the natural color profile or vivid level one. See, Samsung's decision to include a slider gave us all a choice and we can tune it to however we want. That is why I'm saying that this is the best of all worlds. Now, I'm not sure if the vividness color option is coming to existing Samsung phones. I think probably not, but maybe we'll see it in upcoming newer phones, perhaps the upcoming Galaxy A series. Mm, yeah, don't, don't get our hopes up. Anyway, that's all we have for you in today's video. I just want to whip out a quick video to finish what we started here. And for those who want a super vivid color profile like what we had previously, it's here now. Thanks for everyone, for all of your support actually, and all of your voices because 
Samsung finally heard us and they whip out this firmware for us. And I think it's a really great decision for them to include a slider here. And we will still be doing more tests for all the Galaxy S24 series since the firmware update is out for all three phones. So stay tuned and we will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.